Welcome back to Go and Tell. Today we're gonna talk about Drake and all his exes. We're talking about flings, we're talking about side pieces, we're talking about any girl that's been connected to Drake. A lot of girls we might leave out because, you know, they never dated or they were just friends. But all the girls on this list had some kind of ties that people thought they were dating. Because it's so many girls, 20, 30, 40, it's a lot of girls. I'm going to switch it up a little bit, and I'm going to have a female commentator go ahead and go over all the girls. Hey, y'all. Before we get into this list, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe. We appreciate it. All right, y'all. I'm not going to lie. This list was very exhausting. It's a lot of women, 50 to be exact. The first one is Tika Sumter. Back in 2005, before Drake was world famous and a young Canadian actor on Degrassi, The Next Generation, Tika had a romantic moment. For those of you that don't know who Tika Sumter is, she starred in movies Ride Along, Nobody's Fool, and the series The Haves and The Have Nots. This next one is a bit of a love triangle. Takara Elaine Jones and Melissa Ford, both friends, in a recent interview with Ford, said that they had just found out they were both dating Drake at the same time in 2005. The next lady is Jade Lee, his first great love. Drake revealed he even had plans of marrying her and rapped about her in songs Karaoke and Look What You've Done. Now, we don't know when exactly this love interest was but we're just gonna assume that this was way before he is who he is next girl is keisha shantae they dated as teens and she was referenced as kiki in three of his songs in my feelings kiki do you love me <laughs> fallen and deceiving she was also a former bet co-host on 106 in park with bow wow next up is dj duffy she admitted to dating Drake while she was playing college basketball at the University of Texas at Arlington, and they actually remained great friends. Alicia Phillips was a former sweetheart of Drake's. In 2008, he wrote the song Deceiving, and in a verse, spoke about Phillips. Now, this is one of the love interests, dates, girlfriends, whatever you want to call it, that kind of took me by surprise because I didn't hear anything about it. Bria Miles. They supposedly dated in 2008 and she received a couple of mentions on his album So Far Gone. Miles eventually confirmed years later that they broke up. Okay, here's a recent one you guys have heard about probably within the last few months or so. SZA. According to SZA, her and the rapper did in fact date back in 2009, but on 21 Savage's Mr. Right Now featuring Drake, they dated in 2008, which would have put SZA under age dating the rapper. Okay, here's another one that kind of took me by surprise because I didn't hear anything about it but again that's me I may live under a rock Tiana Taylor they dated back in May 2009 and as you can see this photo with them lip locking almost that's a little that's too close <laughs> they dated next woman up is Katia Washington Katia Washington I'm not really sure but they dated in 2009 to 2010 after she appeared in his best I ever had video now there's rumors that she stopped messing with him because she wanted to star or she did star in Oxygen's Bad Girls Club and there was something else online saying that after she learned about all the women he had been romantically involved with she was just done Zaneb Samir also known as Nebi in 2009 they supposedly dated and Drake wrote songs Look What You've Done and Best I Ever Had about her. Fans also speculated that Hotline Bling was also about her but we're not really sure since her name was never dropped. Malaya Michelle. We all know who Malaya Michelle is or I guess the majority of us do. She's a model that briefly dated the rapper but Drake ended things because he was uncomfortable with her stripping career. The GOAT Serena Williams. Drake and Serena dated in 2011 and 2015 but supposedly they never hooked back up or resumed their dating because it was rumored that model Delicia Bryan was the reason that Serena Williams and the rapper never officially got back together. Rita Ora was also rumored to have been a romantic item with Drake back in 2012. He wrote the song R.I.P. and she appeared in his video The Feeling of Pain. Sophia Marie, a U.S. model that dated Drake back in 2012, she also appeared in his music video Best I Ever Had and Drake apparently insisted she be a part of this shoot 
Are y'all still with me? <laughs> Rashida Jones is up next and they reportedly had a fling in 2012. I still can't believe this one, but okay. Next up is Summer P. Walker. Not to be confused with Summer Walker, DJ Drama's wife. She cheated on him with Drake supposedly while they were working on a song in 2012. This is another woman that I had no clue about, but here we are. Sin Santana. A year before the model and video vixen was casted on the hit VH1 reality series Love and Hip Hop, she briefly dated Drake in 2013 after they met on the set of 2 Chainz video shoot for No Lie. The pair responded together in numerous places for the next few months, but the relationship was never confirmed by either side and it seems to fade away as quickly as it began. Tyra Banks. She confirmed on Ellen DeGeneres' show that the pair did date back in 2013. They also went on a date to Disneyland in disguise, which I wish I had a picture of, but obviously that's not gonna happen. Drake had the top model appear in his Child's Play video as a pissed off girlfriend. I actually really like that video too. Next up is my personal all-time favorite, Rihanna. They dated from 2009 to 2016 on and off, and this was his most publicized relationship. Drake confessed his love and admiration for the singer at the 2016 MTV VMAs. Everybody remembers that. It's pretty much legendary, if you will. He's so in love with that girl. I know he still is, but they were just so cute together. What do y'all think? Shay G, an internet model that was linked to Drake while reportedly in a relationship with Rihanna. TMZ reported that after the model posted pics of expensive purses that Drizzy himself bought her while they were together, the rapper sent a bunch of angry messages to her and they were so bad that her father got involved. Jeez, Drake, what was the reason for that? The beautiful Zoe Kravitz. They dated from 2013 to 2014 and the actress did confirm that she and Drake were an item. Said that he was sweet and a cutie. Aww. Miracle Watts, an ex-dancer from Houston, supposedly dated Drake on and off from 2013 to 2015. Black China, supposedly dated in 2014 before Tyga and then in 2018 after Rob Kardashian. Woof, child. Johnny Blaze, another Houston dancer. It's clear that Drake loved him some Houston girls. Anyway, they reportedly started hooking up in 2014. She says their fling went south due to Drake continuing to entertain other girls and then lie about it. She then went public claiming that she was pregnant, that they had an orgy, and then she said he was threatening her. She later apologized and said that she was just hurt by him in the situation with another girl. Crystal Westbrook of the well-known Westbrook sisters also dated the rapper back in 2014. The famous Bernice Burgos, she was spotted kissing Drake while vacationing in Australia. Delicious. Most of y'all know her from Flavor of Love 2, but what y'all probably may not have known, or maybe you did, dated Drake back in March 2015. She admitted to getting together with Drake and mentioned on an online adult show that he was excellent in bed. After his fling with China, it was rumored that he and Amber Rose also dated, but even out of all the pictures that they have together and being spotted in 2015 on New Year's Eve, she denies all allegations of them having romantic ties. During his on and off relationship with Rihanna, Drake had a 2016 fling with India Love, which she also happens to be Crystal Westbrook's sister. And the crazy thing about this too is India Love's ex Cliff Dixon rumored to have cheated on her with Rihanna, a miss. Next is Ravy Loso or Raven. They dated back in fall of 2016. Drake was seen multiple times with the model, including at Kendall Jenner's 20th birthday party. While recording his album, More Life, in 2016, Drake had a quick fling with J-Lo, and it kind of became a little messy because when he broke it off with her, she was supposed to be featured on the song Get It Together, but he ended up taking her off of the song and having Georgia Smith on the song instead. Georgia Smith said herself that she really didn't vibe with the song because she didn't write it. So I wonder if J-Lo was on it, would it have been a little bigger because it was written for J-Lo or J-Lo wrote it? I don't know. 
Which brings me to he and Georgia Smith dating. Back in 2017, the pair collaborated during his Boy Meets World tour in Birmingham. It was rumored that the singer was his girlfriend and the tattoo on the rapper's arm, 11, was dedicated to her birthday. Rosalind, an NBA sports broadcaster, dated Drake in 2015 and 2017. She's also one of the lucky ladies apart from Drake's mother to have walked down the red carpet with him. Drake claimed he liked how normal she was. In 2017, Drake pursued the model Bella Hadid for four months. He wined and dined her and also threw her a 21st birthday party. Ray is a London artist and is a rumored ex of Drake's. Supposedly Drake took interest in her songwriting skills and he got to know her over a string of dates in London in 2018. Brittany Renner, Instagram fitness model, dated Drake in 2018 and and Britney alleged that Drake asked her to have an orgy to which she declined in her book. Now, Haley Baldwin was rumored to have dated Drake back in June 2016. She was spotted at his Memorial Day pool party, and they're also mutual friends with Kylie Jenner and Khloe Kardashian. Now, this could be innocent, and they probably really are friends, but you know, that's what a rumor is. Next is Sophie. Drake's baby mama. Now, according to his track Emotionless, the pair supposedly only met up twice, but that was just enough to get her knocked up. Ooh. It was also confirmed that Drake had been wooing Letitia Grace just two days after reportedly dating Ray but the pair reportedly spent the whole night together at a restaurant in Britain talking. So it could have been innocent. Malika Terry is yet another rumored ex back from 2018. She's an Instagram model that was pictured holding hands with Drake in Toronto while going on a series of dates. It was later confirmed on Ricky Smiley Morning Show though that they were just good friends. Right after Malika Terry, Drake was also seen with actress and Instagram model Zamina in 2018. Rika, I'm not even going to attempt to say your last name, <laughs> dated Drake back in 2018 and she hooked up with the rapper at her 23rd birthday party at a London club. To finish off Drake's very busy year in 2018, Steph London, a British rap star, was spotted getting cozy at dinner in Miami with Drake. Bella Harris, a Drake fan that reportedly got closer to him before taking things to the next level and supposedly split in 2019. Next up is the very very famous Kylie Jenner. Now this rumor dates back in 2019 when supposedly they were very flirty at his birthday party and then later on live Drake's DJ accidentally played a song where Kylie was mentioned as Drake's side piece. And of course, as the boss that Kylie is, she just laughed it off. Iman Hamam is a model that was spotted cozy up with Drake during 2020 New York Fashion Week. Last, but certainly not least, Naomi Sharon, also mentioned in Goat Intel's earlier video, reportedly broke up an eight year engagement when Drake flew Naomi and her then fiance out to record music. Whew, man, I told y'all it was a long list. Um, let me know what y'all think. I mean, this is just 50 or so women that was mentioned on this video alone. And most of them, of course, are famous, very well known Instagram models, celebrities or whatnot. But that's not it. Y'all have to know that Drake, I'm sure there's some, I don't want to say nobodies, but you know, just regular girls that he's come across while traveling and doing shows and whatnot. So there's going to be more. Let me know what you guys think about this list. Is he the official certified lover boy? Like he claims. We want to hear from you guys in the comments. Is he a certified lover boy? Is he a hopeless romantic? Is he a womanizer? We don't know. So we want to hear from you. Until next time. <laughs>